Okay, so I'm here to show you one of my easiest, fastest go-to makeup looks that I love. It's my Glam Classic Pinup Makeup Look. I've done them before, but I'm going to show you guys the fast way to do it. I'm probably talking faster because I'm going to do it even faster too. <laughs> so, um, get ready to listen closely. I already did my face makeup, so my canvas is ready to go. I'm going to take a primer for the eyelid. You can use the Urban Decay Under Eye Primer. I don't have that today, so I'm going to use Soft Ochre in, from the Paint Pots from MAC. You want to make sure that you always put a primer on. Without it, your eyeshadow is going to crease, it's going to come off, and you're going to wonder where your makeup went and how come it won't last. Or you're going to think you have oily eyelids and you just didn't apply it right. So you need to put a concealer, powder over that, and then put the primer. When you don't, that's the difference of makeup looking amazing and looking like, oh, she just put it on. So it's the difference in a celebrity trick versus just putting eyeshadow on. So we have that all over. Then you want to powder that just a little bit so it's easy to blend. So I'm just going to go over with a little pressed powder. Now this eye is great because it's so, so fast. So you're going to take your fluffy brush. I'm going to take any nude color that matches my skin color. Um, I might be using, um, I have all these colors in my palette. I think this is brulee and this is a color that's discontinued. It's like a peachy color. So I'm just going to wash this over my lid on both eyes and go all the way up to the brow bone. Now I want just a little tiny hint. I'm going to take, this is like a peachy color. I don't even know what this is called. Um, this is a pro color, so any kind of peachy. Even use a blush as a color to like just warm up the eyelid a little bit. That way you look alive, you know. And then blend it up here. The more you blend with a fluffy brush, the more beautiful your makeup looks going to be. Now, I want to add a little tiny bit of contouring to this look, so I'm going to take a brown. Any medium brown is going to work. I use a bunch of different colors, so I can't even tell you the names that I'm using. And I'm just going to go right into the crease and blend above the crease. I'm not going to go down onto the eyelid, just blend up here. And I'm going to kind of go like straight across in a line blending and then gently blend up. It gives the eye more of a really pretty look. And the reason I don't ever use one color is because as an artist or a painter, you wouldn't just use one color to make leaves, like one green. You'd use like a bunch of diff, different colors. I was going to just say diff. So we're going to blend, blend, blend out to the sides like that. And then I'll gently wash it on the outer corner of the eye just to give it a little bit of contouring and shape. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a gray-brown or just use a gray and a brown. And I'm going to go right into the crease. This is more of a tapered crease. And then you're just going to go right into the side and blend it up. So you give a little bit of contour and definition. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows because this is a key, key, key to the pinup look. So all you need is a good angled brush and a shadow. I'm going to use dark brown because my hair is really dark. So I'm going to use Espresso from MAC, which is this really dark color. Go right along the top and then follow it right along the bottom. You're going to curve this outside just slightly down. But the key to the pinup eyebrow is a very sharp, defined, straight line look. So I'm going to take a Taclon angled brush, and Taclon because the Taclon is great for creams. You don't want to use it for a powder like I just did with the shadows, but it's great for cream because it's artificial hair. You can use the Makeup Forever Aqua Black, Black Black Chromaline from MAC, whatever you have. And you're just going to drag this. I'm going to go up right here in the corner. And then I'm going to kind of square it off and make a flat line across the top. And then I'm going to sweep the wing up right where my eyelashes curve. I had to go make sure I did that right in the bathroom and I let my hair down so I look all wild now. Uh, so now you're going to take your angled brush, just your regular hair angle brush, and you're going to go over the liner that you just did with a black powder. Um, you always want to dry the creams, you want to dry and set with a powder. So I'm just going to go over this with my black powder and you, as you do it, it gently softens any mistakes or ridges or bumps that you made with the, my phone's making noises, with the cream. It's really hard because I cannot really see what I'm doing. 
because it's not a mirror. I'm just looking into this little monitor and it makes it very tricky. So a couple things. You can even le you can leave the eye very open and plain like this and put your mascara on. I am like addicted to lining the rims of my eyes, so I'm gonna take Smolder, my black. Whoa, he is not sharpened. That will cut my eyeball. Oh, he is, how nice. So I'm gonna line the rims of my eyes real fast. And again, you go in with a shadow after this. And if you close your eye like that, you can get the tops and the bottoms. Uh, same thing applies, you gotta take a dry shadow and soak that up to create like a barrier. So I'm gonna take the black, do that real quickly, pull the rim away from the eye, go in there and make like a little, make a little powdery mess on the rim of your eye. That's something you just have to touch up and touch up all day long. Now you can take a soft brown and gently smudge underneath the lower part of the eye. I'm gonna do that right now. That'll help dry it up too and make sure it doesn't come off. And I usually take a light brown and go underneath and it looks perfect. I'm going to curl my lashes, put mascara on, and I'll be right back. Now that we're back with mascara, I'm gonna show you my red lip trick. This is a L'Oreal Infallible. I did a video on the Kiss Proof Power of this and I love it. I wouldn't wear red if I didn't have this because I'd be putting it on all day long and it would be messing up. So I just paint it on and you just paint it on like that. Gotta make sure I didn't mess up because this seriously does not come off. And you have to let, <laughs> that looks so weird talking like this, oh, where's my top lip? You have to let the top and the bottom dry between layers, so. I'll let that dry for a couple minutes and I'll come back and do the second layer and show you. So I'm back with our two coats of red lips. Look how white my teeth look now. So it comes with this gloss. That's all you need to touch it up with all day long. Otherwise it feels kind of sticky. I actually put three coats. So I waited two minutes in between each coat. And there's your pretty glammed up pinup look. I love it. It's super easy and fast. And you look gorgeous everywhere you go. Think Gwen Stefani, Marilyn Monroe. Um, now you and me. So have an awesome day. And I hope you like this fast look. We'll see you. I get to go spend the day with my sister in LA. I'm so excited. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.